Okay, get inside. Close the door now. Ah, oh god. I'm totally drained since now. It must have gone through the gaps in my jacket hood. I can feel my water dripping down my bed. Ah. Ah. I know I shouldn't have trusted you when you said you knew where you were going. Oh, it's a shortcut. It's actually Shafa's time. Ah. No, I'm not saying you should have known there would be a blizzard. But I am saying we should have stuck to the main trail. And we would have if we have it. Oh, oh no, don't try to blame this on me. It's not like... <sighs> oh, okay, whatever, just shut up. We don't have time to keep bickering. We need to act quickly or we're going to get hypothermia. How do I know? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because I actually bothered reading the emergency guide section in the back of the pamphlet they handed out back at the lodge. At least one of us did. You're welcome. Ah, oh, damn it. My whole shirt is so true straight to the skin. Oh, my jacket barely held at all. Okay, fast. We need to get our wet clothes off and then we need blankets or something to keep insulated or we could go into shock. Don't just stand in there, you idiot. At least you broke your back so you are not totally useless. Get the sleeping bag out. Get the sleeping bags out. And find a towel or a cloth or something we can use to dry ourselves off. Okay, there is a fireplace here, and it's full. Maybe one of the rangers brought in firewood recently or something. I don't know who else would have used this cabin. It's so far out of the way. It's not even marked on the map. Uh, but let me see if I have something to light it in my knapsack. Uh, okay. An electric heater would be better, but the fire is hot enough to keep us warm for now. Uh, as long as we stay really close to it. What about you? Did you find anything? What is that? A hand towel? Why is it so small? You seriously don't have anything else? Uh, well, okay, fine. It will have to do. It will not warm us much, but at least we can dry off with it. Now, what about the sleeping bags? Why did you only take one sleeping bag out? There is two of us, genius. What do you mean he split the equipment with you? What? What are you saying? Are you... Are you saying you only have one sleeping bag? Seriously? Oh my god. Share it? We cannot share it. Uh, because we are not exactly going to be wearing our pajamas, obviously. We have to get all our wet clothes off. Y yes, even our underwear. Look, we are doing this to survive and staying alive, okay? I'm not doing this for my own benefit. Even I will do it too. Look, every piece of wet clothing drops your body temperature. The guide says so, so we have to take them off. Oh my god, how could you only bring one sleeping bag? Yeah, I know, we were supposed to go back to the camp to sleep, but... Uh, god dang it. Okay, okay, deep breath. Uh, we can do this. We are both professional, mature adults here. We can do this. We will just have to use the same one. <sighs> okay, now, uh, turn around and close your eyes. N no, I'm not kidding. Quickly. Okay, alright. Don't you dare peek, okay? That will have to do. You can open your eyes now. What kind of stupid question is that? Uh, yeah, if you haven't been paying attention. Y y yes, I'm naked. You should be too. N now, quick. Unless you want to freeze to death with that stupid look on your face. Get your clothes off. Now. Yeah, yeah, I will close my eyes too. Fine. You're done? You're coming in? N no, I respect you. I will not open my eyes. But just... Just be really, really careful where you put your hands as you're getting in, okay? Y yeah, I know there is no room. These sleeping bags only meant for one person. But just... Uh, oh 
Oh my god, you're touching my. Move your hand, pay attention. Are you done? Can I open my eyes now? Okay. 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 See? That wasn't so bad. I can feel your body lying on top of me and pressing it to me. But that doesn't have to be weird. We are just following hypothermia prevention protocols. That's all. We are we're just two adults in a sleeping in a sleeping bed together. Without any of our clothes on, being a responsible and smart in an emergency situation. Now, we just have to wait for our clothes to dry off and and the storm to subside. It should take only should only take a few uh, hours. Why, why the hell are you looking at me? Where else did I look? I don't know. Literally anywhere else. Just not at me. This is awkward enough. Just. Okay, listen, you look over at that wall and I will look at at that other wall and we will stay like that. Sound like a plan? Uh, okay, fine. This is stupid. Let's just look at each other. Tall? You seriously want to tall while we are at like this? I mean, I guess we aren't going to sleep and I don't think anything you say could be more awkward than lying here in silence. So, uh, fine, fine, we can talk, I guess. You start. <laughs> nice weather we're having. Seriously? Uh, oh, you're, you're joking. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll... I admit that was kind of funny. Look, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry I called you an idiot earlier. And I'm not just saying that because your body heat is the only thing keeping the feelings in my finger. <laughs> no, 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 it's true. I was just panicking and lashing out. <sighs> now, to be fair, I was half hypothermic, so... I think that's a decent excuse, but I know I wasn't really exactly nice to you before the blizzard either. You have a really nice eyes, you know that? Oh, sorry that was super weird. I have no idea why I said that. It's just I have obviously never seen them like two inches from my face before. And that thought just popped into my head. Maybe my brain isn't totally unfrozen yet. Oh, you really think so? Oh, well, th thank you for saying that. I guess that's actually kind of sweet. You know what's crazy? When someone invited me on this trip, I almost wasn't going to, but but I changed my mind last minute. <laughs> and now here we are. Oh, I wasn't going to go because I know a lot of people don't like me. Y yeah, it is it is true. Everyone thinks I'm such a jerk. Y yeah, they do. I overheard them talking about me in the hall a couple nights ago when they thought I was asleep. <sighs> and that's not the first time either. I know how people feel about me even if they don't say it to my face. I'm not stupid. And okay, some of how they feel maybe isn't their fault. I mean, I haven't exactly been the nicest person ever. And I know that, but also, like, people just assume I'm mean or I'm going to be rude to them because I'm standoffish or brusque sometimes. But I don't mean to be. I'm just awkward. Sometimes I feel like people don't even get to know me because they just make all these assumptions about me beforehand oh my god why am I telling you all this like you even care uh, 
No, you don't. You're just saying that because A, you are trying not to argue with the naked boy whose body you are currently lying on top and B, my body heat is probably the only thing keeping your heart from stopping. <laughs> Was that an attempt at a pickup line? <laughs> well, honestly, I have heard worse. I'm sorry I called you an idiot before, by the way. Wait, did I already say that? Oh, whatever, I will say it again then. I probably called you an idiot more than twice anyway. <sighs> Your chest is really warm. I can feel you trying to keep your distance from me and I respect your behavior and all, but it's okay. I mean, it's uh, it's okay if you want to press against me a little. It's actually the smart thing to do. Uh, what with the uh, hypothermic protection. <laughs> you know, sometimes I feel like it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. People expect me to be the certain kind of person and that hurts. It hurts when people just assume bad stuff about you. A lot. And then I get upset and I sometimes do act mean. And they just think they were right all along. They judge me before they even get to know me. And then I turn into exactly who they thought I was. It just sucks. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, uh, you didn't think that? Yeah, right. We were fighting literally the well. We were fighting literally the whole way here. Oh, you mean before? Like when we first got to know each other? You thought I was just quiet? Not mean? Maybe I just kind of assumed because all of your friends felt that way about me. You did too? Uh, okay, elephant in the room? Uh, I know you can feel me uh, poking into you. Did their heart because they just got out of a literal ice storm, okay? So. I'm sorry about that. I cannot control it. Uh, I'm not blessing. That's just blood returning to my facial muscle. Or something. If you would only read the pamphlet, you idiot. Uh, wait, no. Sorry, I said I wouldn't call you that anymore. I, I just... Okay, I told you I was awkward. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I'm just working the circulation back in my hand by rubbing them up and down your very warm sides? How are you so warm? Repetitive motions and another person's body heat are ideal for getting circulation back into your hand. You should probably try it with my body. If you uh, want to. I mean, you don't have to. It's just if you want. Uh, oh, yeah, it actually feels really nice when you rock my shoulder like that. Maybe is it return the favor? Do you like it? That feels amazing, right? Oh, you're back? Oh, okay, yeah, I will go there. Oh, a little bit further. Okay, okay. <laughs> you are a really good cuddler, you know? Like, seriously. This feels so nice and snug and warm. Can I hold you a little tighter? Uh, here. Let me uh, try something. I will just bring my hands up out of the sleeping bag and cup your face here. Oh my, your cheek is burning up. Oh, do you like my hand? Does it feel as nice? <sighs> okay, good. I want it to feel as nice. I want you to feel as nice as you are making me feel. Anyway, about that thing I want to try, just close your eyes up a second, okay? Tilt your head a little and... Did you like that? <laughs> I like it too. Here, let me put my hand on the back of your head and bring you in a little closer. Yeah, 
nozzle in just like that. Do you want to do it again? Okay, next time, don't stop, okay? <laughs> no, no, it's totally okay. I kind of like it. I've never done that before. At least, not that I can remember. I mean, I know people do it, but I just... Felt really good though. Can I do it again with you? Okay, here goes. <laughs> that feels so weird, but it's a nice kind of weird. I could get used to it. All right, wait. I really want to keep going, but. Before you do, I have to ask you something. Um, did you mean what you said earlier? I mean that you didn't feel like I was a jerk or a bully? Oh, thanks. You're sweet, actually. I was thinking maybe, maybe after this we could start over. Forget all the stuff we said, all the fighting. Pretend like we're total strangers meeting each other for the first time. Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe not exactly like total stranger since we're cuddling naked and kissing each other's mouth and all. <laughs> you know what I mean. Maybe we could put all the bad blood and misunderstandings behind us. We could start fresh. As friends, or maybe more than friends, if you wanna. <laughs> yeah, I would like that. I would like that a lot. Hey, look at that window. It's basically just a wall of white. The blizzard doesn't look like it's lighting up anytime soon. But the fire hasn't died either. And. I don't mean the fire in the fireplace. <laughs> don't look at me like that. I give you a pass for your lame pickup line earlier. <laughs> uh, just shut up and kiss me again. You know, kissing is actually a very effective anti-hypothermic measure because of how it stokes your body heat. <laughs> no, no, I swear I'm not making that up. It was in the pamphlet. Now, if you would actually read the pamphlet, you might know that. <laughs>